hit it. Our goats. They are kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? But wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! Hey, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! I wonder what the hell is going on. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottled. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Hound. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? 
I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. in months because of this ridiculous blockade.
this shit. You serious? <laughs> <laughs> Here! 
Fucking with me? What's taking so long? Will you get a load of that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? Sacred mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you gotta know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen. You're incredibly brave. But I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? So now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was loading backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. Would be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure. If you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. But we'll see. Ah, oh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully.
Looking at all the dead people. It says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. 
Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger or darkness did. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old. And it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. so bad. Where have you been? I was cleaning out this one place. And? Was it worth it? Ah, not a few little things. I'll show you later. What is this? But don't tell me. You've never seen it before. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... 
shit. You survived outside the walls. Word on the rooftops is that water stocks are almost depleted. Got bad season coming. Hey, Hangman. How's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win-win. Who's Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. Familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy you almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. They were the first to go dark in 23. Probably all dead. Pilgrim, like the rest of Heard you in the curious type. Explore streets and building interior. Damn PKs. Walk on the way to the central loop. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access.
Can't even get net of a sprout. Maybe try a fennel. That'll leave me alone. Wait a central. As you say, that all seems simple. Unfortunately, nothing good comes easy. So there's a guy with a bunch of children, one born right after another. Like your wife's a gumball machine. You think making that many kids that quick? Man, I'm so thirsty. All the equipment. Did Lucas have you couldn't have screwed it up more than you it did. Then what? Yeah. Didn't you do it yourself? Do you ready for because I asked what if you to. Are killing what am I going to tell my mother now? That doesn't seem likely.
Hayden. How's it been, kid? Cause it uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything. Meet me on the roof, near the main metro station. I can't. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? 
The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Is it new? 